To join the EU migration pact is a significant one for Ireland. With far-reaching implications, this pact, which is essentially a set of rules and guidelines for managing migration within the European Union, could place a substantial economic and social burden on the country. It could strain public services and local amenities, including housing and medical services, which are already under pressure. The government in Brussels, um, in Brussels would dictate the number of immigrants that Ireland must accept. This approach is simply reckless, as it allows individuals far removed from the realities on the ground in Ireland to make decisions that will directly impact the lives of its citizens. The government's liberal stance on mass immigration is imprudent, particularly at a time when stricter border controls are necessary due to global social, uh, socio-political dynamics. Ireland may not be able to accommodate a growing influx of asylum seekers, thus necessitating a far more stringent asylum policy. The imposition of migrant quotas and our fines by the EU Migration Pact may not be beneficial for Ireland. It is particularly detrimental and unreasonable for countries that are unwilling to accept migrant, uh, according, migrants according to the mandatory quota to pay a penalty of 20,000 per migrant, as outlined in the new EU asylum package. Uh, Ireland is at a critical juncture, housing a significant number of international protection applicants, 31,166 as of the 9th of June 2024, across 282 centres, according to recent parliamentary questions. The average weekly cost of accommodating these individuals is €561 Euros per week in 2024. From the same data, we know that 64% of all asylum applicants assessed uh, for eligibility in 2023 did not qualify, indicating that they were either illegal immigrants or should never have been in the asylum system in the first place now. Based on the same data, we know that the refusal rate is running at 70% of those assessed in 2024, meaning that about seven in every ten people within the asylum system have no right to be here. Um, yet, taxpayers are expected to bear the cost of €561 Euros for their accommodation, whether eligible or ineligible, because the government is incapable of putting proper procedures and a management plan in place. This is simply reckless. And now opting into the pact will mean more, not less asylum applicants arriving here. This country is grappling with a severe housing shortage and overstretched public services, leading to unacceptable circumstances nationwide. The fact that up to 70% of those claiming asylum here are being imposed on local communities is truly shocking. There is insufficient housing for citizens and inadequate accommodation for tourists. The cost of the I of IPAS, uh, excluding the cost of Ukrainian refugees, jumped from 191 million to, in 2021 to a staggering 653 million in 2023. It is expected to impose a massive 1 billion burden on Irish taxpayers in 2024 due to the government's unwavering commitment to a policy of welcoming all asylum seekers without consulting taxpayers, raising significant democratic and financial concerns. Just as it, did, as it did not share the Attorney General's opinion and the Department's advice on the negative effect of a yes vote in the referendum held on the 8th of March. The government is not being transparent about the consequences and the cost of joining the EU migration and asylum pact. Ireland, like Denmark, has a special legal right to opt out of some parts of the pact. There is no compelling reason for Ireland to join the EU uh, migration and asylum pact, which would force the country uh, to accept more asylum seekers on top of the many international protection uh, applicants already coming in, especially when there's no legal requirement to do so. The pact would allow the EU to make immigration decisions for Ireland if ratified. It would represent the largest transfer of Irish constitutional powers from Ireland to Brussels in the country's history. Joining this extreme pact would mean relinquishing any right to block future changes, including potential increases in migrant relocation quotas decided by the majority vote. Ireland has a spe special legal right to opt out of the EU migration and asylum pact under Protocol 2021, sorry, 21 of the Treaty of Lisbon. This gives an opt-in or opt-out choice on individual proposals in the areas of freedom, security and justice. However, Irish voters have not been asked if they want to transfer national power um, on, Im on immigration. Matters to the EU, the Asylum and Migration Management Regulation, AMMR, 
which I have said should have been included in the recent elections as a referendum. A main part of the pact threatens to override Ireland's power as outlined in the Constitution by giving the European Commission the power to decide the number of relocated asylum seekers and the financial contributions Ireland must take from the taxpayer. The Asylum and the Migration Management Regulation requires at least 30,000 asylum seekers to be distributed across the, the block each year.